it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. And I'm going to be sharing not only some festive holiday tags, but I'll also be showing you how you can use the new Doodlebug Let It Snow collection to make some really cute treat holders that also double as a gift card holder. So I'm going to be using many products from the Let It Snow collection from Doodlebug, and you can see a variety of them here on my desk. We're also gonna be using two tag dies from Simon Says Stamp to help make our tags. So what I've done first is I've die cut the large rounded tag, and I'll also be using the large standard tag too. But I've die cut the tag from both a piece of pattern paper from the Let It Snow collection and also a piece of cardstock to match. I'm then using bits and pieces from the Let It Snow ephemera, and I also, on this particular tag, use some of the jewels that coordinate with this collection. They're really pretty, and I thought they looked really nice for some cute snowballs that look very frosty. They go well with this little penguin. On each of the tags, I'm using some ribbon that I have in my stash. You could also use twine, and I'll show you that here on another tag. There's a collection of die cut shapes from the Let It Snow collection, and I'm going to use those to make some tags as well. So I have this nice label, and I'm going to attach a little circle on top, and then I can layer a snowman from the ephemera pack right into the middle section. There's also some really adorable snowflake sprinkles, and I'm going to use those along with a heart sprinkle to add some embellishment onto my tag. Lawn Fawn Trimmings makes a great twine for a lot of these tags, so I made a little hole in the top of my tag and then I just tied a bit of twine across the top. Using the large standard tag, I'm going to make another tag with some pattern paper and then some white cardstock. I'm using Simon Says Damp Dot Runner to attach my pattern paper to my cardstock. I used a scrap of white and my fussy cut scissors to create a little slope hill, and this will go along the bottom portion of my tag. There are some fun shaker pops in this collection, and I am using the snowman on this particular tag to layer up a cute little scene along with some of the ephemera pieces. I use Simon Says Stamp Dot Runner to attach the ephemera pieces on this particular tag. In addition to the shaker pop, I'm also going to use the little snowflakes that are included in this particular sticker sheet to add some additional embellishment onto my tag. For the tag ribbon, I just used a bit of red that coordinated nicely with the ephemera. And you can see how that shaker looks so cute on the snowman. There's another shaker pop, and this one's a snow globe with some glitter in it and a fun reindeer and treat. So I just used some pattern paper to decorate my tag. I put the shaker pop right in the center, and then I put some ribbon through the hole, and I'll tie a bit of twine to hold it in place. This is just another way that you can attach your ribbon onto your tags. It's fun to mix and match them so they all look unique. So like I said, in addition to making tags, I also wanted to show you how you can make some fun treat or gift card holders. So with the pattern paper from the Let It Snow collection, I have a six by six inch sheet here. With my scoring board, I'm gonna score three lines, one at two and a half, three, and three and a half inches. So that'll create three lines down the center of my paper. Then we'll rotate it 90 degrees, and we're going to score at half of an inch and at one inch on the left-hand side of the paper. It's two score lines there. They're intersecting with the three we just did. I'll turn the paper 180 degrees and do the same thing on the other side, opposite of the first two lines. So now we have two score lines on either side of the sheet and three score lines down the center. So while we have all these score lines created, I'm then going to take my fine tip scissors. And on the two middle score lines, we're going to trim the paper until they meet with the score line that's towards the center of the far edges. So we're gonna bring those score lines in so that way we create these little tabs. Now that we've cut those pieces down to create the little tabs, we're gonna fold on every single score line just to start creasing the paper. This will help put the assembly process together a lot faster and easier. 
So I'll go ahead and fold over all of these score lines and you can see how we're getting a lot of nice creases and it's starting to build a shape. And this is going to turn into a bag. It's very simple and easy to do. You can make these in no time at all. So I've folded over on all the score lines and we're going to lay it with the pretty side facing up and we're gonna put adhesive on the two little tabs and then onto one of the tabs on either side of the bag. So only one of those larger tabs needs some adhesive. We're now going to fold the little tab in first, then fold over the flap that has adhesive on it, and then the tab that does not have any adhesive, you're going to fold that into the adhesive. And this is going to form the side of your bag. So we've done it to one side, and now we'll repeat that same process on the other. So little tab in first, larger tab with the adhesive, and then the tab with no adhesive on top of that. And you, once you get everything lined up, you can fold in those center lines to help give a nice shape to your bag, and that's going to complete your little treat bag or gift card holder. So I'll show you here, this is a six by six inch piece of paper that we started with. So take your paper from your pattern paper pack, and you can see here a gift card fits inside perfectly. Now to further embellish the bag, we're going to punch a couple of holes through both sides of the bag. And then now that we've created these holes, we can create handles. So using either ribbon or twine, you can tie a little knot on two ends of your ribbon and feed them through your treat bag and that'll form a nice little handle. So I've got one side of the handle, I'll put the ribbon through on the other side and then tie a nice knot and that'll form a cute little handle. And I'll do that to both sides of the bag. So once you create your handles, then you can fill your bag with some tissue paper or your treats or whatever you're going to fill them with and you can also decorate the fronts. So I'm gonna pull out pieces of ephemera from the Let It Snow collection from Doodlebug and I'll use some foam tape to pop them up on top of my treat bag. And if you want, you can add even additional embellishment by putting on a bit of glitter. I'm going to use some clear liquid adhesive. This actually happens to be Ultra Bond from Thermoweb. And I'm just going to put that on top of the snowy heel that I have on my bag and also onto the tree. And I'll sprinkle on some unicorn dust and unicorn confetti glitter from Simon Says Stamp. Inside the Let It Snow die cut shapes collection, I found some cute little tags. These are tiny, tiny tags, and I thought they would be so cute to attach onto the handles of our gift bag. So I'm going to use a bit of twine to tie that on to the handle, and that's what I can use to write the name of the recipient for each of these little bags. And I made quite a few of them. And I decorated each one with some of the ephemera, with some fun little snowflakes and embellishments, such as the jewels. These are really cute and would make perfect little treat holders. You can put some fun candies inside or you can put a gift card in it as well. So all of these ideas use contents from the Doodlebug Let It Snow collection, which is super fun and festive and would make an adorable assortment of gift bags, treat holders, or tags. And I hope that today's video has inspired you to use this collection to make some fun things for the holiday season. If you're interested in any of the products that I use today, I do have them linked below in the video description, so be sure to check that out, or you can head on over to the blog to get picture links as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration. And I'll be back very soon with more to share with you all. Until next time, I hope you all have a very wonderful day. Bye!